Hello, my dear friends. Today, we're talking about the Fly Lady system made easy. I was watching one of my favorite video people, um, Kim Wadsworth of the Wads. She's so funny. And it was one from, gosh, five or six years ago when she was talking about trying to follow the Fly Lady system and how hard it was and how confusing it was. And sometimes it is hard and sometimes it is confusing. I try to make it really easy for you. So there's three steps to the Fly Lady system, three parts. Part one is routines. Those are the things you do every single day. Things like getting up in the morning and making your bed, swish and swipe in the bathroom, which is a fancy way or a silly way of saying wipe the sink and give the toilet bowl a little swish. Um, you know, just, just the things we do, uh, we do, I have something that I do, I don't do fire, what is it called, fire, putting out fires or what, I don't do that. A hot spot fire drill, I don't do that because I don't want you to have a hot spot. A hot spot is a place where you always lay clutter. I want you to be very uh, uh, familiar with that and say that's not going to be a hot spot. I'm claiming this for myself. So for me, all I do is I have something called a clutter stop where three times a day you look around and you put it away, you don't pass it up, okay? That's a clutter stop. And so we've got our routines, a morning routine, laundry routine, paper routine, um, after dinner routine, before bed routine. Those are all our little routines that we work out. You can watch my How to Do the Fly Lady System for Newbies video. It's very old, it's like retro cat, but it's still pertinent and I think that will help you. Um, so that's part one, routines. Part two is zones. Zones are simply parts of your house. That's all, five parts of your house. So typically, zone one is the entryway. Some people add the dining room. Some people add the stairs. I add the stairs if you have them, the dining room if you hardly ever use it. That would be zone one. Zone two is the kitchen. Very simple, if it's a neat in kitchen, it's still the kitchen. That would include your refrigerator, that would include your pantry, all those parts of the kitchen. Zone three is the hall bathroom or the children's bathroom, and then one of your other rooms, like your laundry room or your guest room or your child's room. There's always other rooms, and so that's zone three. Zone four is your master bedroom, which includes your closet, and if you have one, your, your um, ensuite bathroom, you know, your master bathroom. That's zone four. Zone five is the living area. And I don't say living room, I say living area because you have a great room, you can have a loft, you can, maybe you're eating in your dining room on a regular basis, that, that's the place where the family hangs out. So that would be your living area, zone five. That's it. Now, yes, you might have a movie room, you might have um, a, a, a craft room, all those are called other rooms and they fall under zone three. If that doesn't suit you, then reestablish it the way you want, but don't reinvent the wheel. I think if you try this, it'll work for you. And then if it's not working for you, then you can change things around. I will say right here that this system is not designed for born organized people. A born organized person will get, and, get in there and say, well, this is silly. I can get this done now and never have to do it again. It's not really true. <laughs> it's always gonna get cluttered again if you're not careful. But for people like me and the majority of the people who follow me, we have, uh, we're sidetracked and it works best for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, <clears throat> sorry. Next, we're gonna talk about um, your, okay, that's your routines and your zones. And the last part, is your your um, weekly your basic weekly plan so that's part three the basic weekly plan is something you're doing every single monday every single tuesday every single wednesday etc so on mondays you do the weekly home blessing hour for more details on that watch how to do the fly lady system for newbies or other videos that i have on that but it's a it's it's five things plus your laundry, uh, your sheets. So it's your sheets, it's cleaning the, um, the uh, it's dusting, it's cleaning, emptying out the garbage can, little garbage cans, it's wiping the glass, the spots off the glass, 
and it's taking care of your floors. You're vacuuming and you're mopping, but not the old fashioned way. We're doing a really quickie. It's a blessing, not a deep clean. So Tuesday would be a free day where we don't do any basic weekly plan. Wednesday is planning and desk day where we plan out because if you are um, one of my people who are sidetracked like me, some of you have ADD, anxiety, depression, there's all these different things, but um, you'll need a planner because a planner is your tool for success and you need to look at it, write in it, use it. It is your tool. And then finally, um, so that's planning and desk day. So that's when you're paying bills, you're looking through your inbox to see if there's any action items you need to take care of. You're planning your grocery list. You're looking at your finances. It's a quiet day. And then Thursday is the day you run your errands. So you buy your groceries, you go to the library, etc. Friday is a very simple day. It's called car and purse day. Car can be a really big thing for some people, but once you get it under control, car and purse day is a really quick little 15 minute job. That's it. And then finally, Saturday is your family fun day and Sunday is renew your spirit. But you say, I work full time, Kat. I can't do that. That's right, you can't. And for 40 years, I worked full time and I followed the Fly Lady system. In fact, I even mentored for the Fly Lady as one of her original, original mentees and I spun off and I'm doing my own thing. But um, if you work like I worked, what I do is one hour on Saturday to do the weekly home blessing hour, so you're getting that done, and then another hour to take the four 15 minutes that we had. Remember, you do Monday, Tuesday's a free day, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, that's four 15 minutes in your zone. You do an hour in your zone on Saturday morning. So it's two hours Saturday morning, period. That zone work, we don't start by deep cleaning. If you have a messy house, the chances are is that all of your storage areas are cluttered and you're living in a storage unit instead of a house. So when you open your closets, they're a mess. When you open your drawers, they're stuffed to the gills. <clears throat> when you open your cabinets, there's no room to put anything. Yet, all these other things are laying around because there's no home for them, because things you're not using, things you don't love, things you don't um, wear, uh, let's see, love, and things you don't need, are taking up space in your drawers and in your cabinets and in your closets. And I help you with that um, by talking about how hard that is to get rid of those things. I know that's hard. It's a mental exercise for many people to get rid of things. That dress that you bought 10 years ago that cost a fortune and you wore twice. But it's like, oh my gosh, it cost a fortune. We, and the reality is, yeah, and that money is long gone and you are not enjoying this piece of a wardrobe and it needs to be donated. Go bless someone else with it and make some room in your closet. So we also have uh, the fact that we have spouses who may be deceased or grandparents or parents who are deceased and we've inherited all their stuff and now you feel guilty because you think it's that person. But it's not that person, it's just their old stuff that if they saw you ha having panic attacks over it, they would say, what? That old thing? Get rid of it. That's why it was in such good shape. I never used it. <laughs> so I want you to know that this is a personalized system. I give you a pattern to follow, but you work it at your level because the truth is everyone is different. Everyone's needs are different. Everyone's family is different. Everyone's home is different. But this pattern works for most people. And so you use this little pattern of routines, basic weekly plan and zone to go through your day, to go through your week, to go through your month, to go through your years, and slowly but surely, it's going to happen. Your house is gonna be tidy. You're gonna get rid of the excess paper you have. The closets are gonna be tidy. I have so many people that I've personally mentored on my Patreon channel who have graduated, and I reach out to them at the holidays, and they show me things, and they send me pictures of their family, and everything is so tidy, so wonderful, and that can be you too. So. Start following the system. If you need extra help, you can go to the Patreon channel, patreon.com, and sign up for $5 a month to have a daily assistance. Five days a week, I tell you what to do that day specifically. And then if you feel like you need to be mentored, I will mention on my live videos on this channel on Mondays if I have spots available for the next month. And if you're a patron, you can sign up for those spots. 
by, by giving me your phone number so I can call you. I'll call you and then say, hey, I've got this spot, this spot, and this spot. Which one do you want? Or if that doesn't work for you, I can put you on a wait list. Okay, so I just want you to know that this system is easy. It's very easy. And I know, even when I began mentoring, I thought, oh my gosh, how it's got so many parts. There's so many pieces. And then I distilled it into three things. Those three things, that's all there is. So people talk about baby steps and they talk about, like I said, hot spots and fire drills and missions and all. Get that out of your head. Just do these three things, routines, basic weekly plan and zone work and it will come into focus and it will make more sense and it will be easy for you. That's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you always remember that you are beautiful. So be beautiful.